everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie, and this channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And today we are making shrimp tempura and vegetable tempura. So we have a special guest. This is Aiko. Aiko, say hi. Hi. And everybody knows Reed. And today's Kyle's birthday, and so mm -hmm. this dish is part of Kyle's birthday present, uh, family dinner tonight, and special meal with shrimp tempura. And then later on, we're also going to be doing a sake tasting from a company called Tipsy that uh, helped get us some sake for tonight's dinner. I was able to prepare. Aiko, do you want to name all the vegetables that you see? What vegetables do you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have asparagus. This is asparagus. Asparagus. We have, what is this called, Aiko? Mm -hmm. Shiso. Shiso leaf. Shiso. So shiso leaf is a Japanese herb. And we were able to find it at Marukai today. Shiso. And it's to me, when, when I think of shiso, it reminds me of ume. It kind of has like an ume flavor to it, which is if you like ume, you would love shiso. And then we have carrots. We have my favorite eggplant. She doesn't like eggplant. And uh, kabocha, which is pumpkin. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be frying. Oh, and uh, sweet potato. Yeah. Oh yeah, sweet potato. I'm just putting it in water now so it does not oxidize before we fry. We're gonna make our tempura batter in a little bit, which basically consists of flour, egg, and water. And yeah, we're gonna be frying everything up. Frying everything up. And we have some shrimp here. All I'm really doing with the shrimp is I'm just making a little slit at the top here. And I'm just taking out the vein that comes at the top. Uh, usually there's like a vein here, you can kind of see. And I'm able to just kind of pull it out What's this? Shaka. And yeah. also, I'm gonna Shaka. just make three slits at the bottom of the shrimp, and this will prevent it from curling while Reed, my fryer, fries the shrimp. So Aiko, we're, we're gonna, gonna make, fry some shrimp. We're gonna make three slits like this, and we're just going to get it ready. So. And Elmo says, Is that pickles? <laughs> what does Elmo say? Tell the camera. What does Elmo say? Tell this um, camera. Elmo, that's. <laughs> also, we want to leave the tail on for the shrimp too. Yeah, but we have. Um, we just um, we play with the iPad, and then when the mommy come and him, and then we just go and then I drink my vitamin. <laughs> okay, drink your vitamin juice, and I just kept the tail on for the shrimp. And again, all I'm doing is just deveining it and making three sits at the bottom. After this, we are going to get ready to fry. And I learned that you don't really make the batter until you end up frying it. So we did not make the batter ahead of time. We're going to do that right before we fry. Videotaping. Silver shrimp. Silver shrimp. Very good. So we're going to start. The temperature is currently right now at um, between 340 and 350 degrees, uh, which is the ideal temperature. And we're supposed to keep it somewhere around there, but as we add more um, vegetables to um, the frying, it's going to uh, lower the temperature. And so it'll, it'll fluctuate back and forth. It'll be fine. There we go. And so we chilled the batter in between because we wanted to make sure that um, the in. batter stayed cold. Um, the directions that we saw said that don't worry about if there's clumps in the batter or anything like that. Uh, it helps make for better tempura. And just like at our favorite udon place, when you drop these in, you get these little batter. Oh, that's like that. Oh, you're getting another. Yeah. And so typically, you 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 think it's ready when um, things start rising back up to the top, mm -hmm. right? And it's vegetables, so it doesn't have to stay in here too long. You don't want it to be uh, too dried out or too crunchy. But we're looking for like a light brown, light golden brown golden color. Golden brown color. Oh, it smells so good. So let us know too, like what vegetables you like to eat when it comes to tempura. Cause there's so many different, I mean the good thing about tempura is you can really fry any vegetable and make it tempura. And for the um, for the eggplant, I just cut them in half and then I, I saw, like I did research, and I cut them in fours like this. So we're keeping them together, but 
they have little slits. So this could possibly be the last time that we're cooking in this kitchen as it is right now. Um, this kitchen is going to go through a renovation. And so you'll start seeing more videos uh, from Carrie in our new place. Mm -hmm. And look at that shiso leaf. Look at that. Ooh, that looks good. So we'll, we'll leave it here to kind of So we made the batter pretty easily. Do you want to kind of share how you made the batter? Yeah, it's very simple. It's um, egg, ice water. You want to make sure the water is cold. Uh, and then flour. And all you do is you mix that in there. There's no salt, no pepper or anything. Uh, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. But you have to make sure, like Reed said, it's cold. Like that's what we've, we've learned. I think it helps it to be stay crispy, right? It helps the batter to stay crispy longer. And then yeah. the ideal um, time to eat this is right after it comes out. All right, look at this. Yeah. So we also made a sauce uh, to go with the tempura. We actually made that part, the sauce. Um, you want to share what went into the sauce? Uh, it's simple. It's just shoyu, sugar, uh, water, mirin, mm -hmm. uh, and it's all mixed together. And um, the tempura sauce is different from any other Japanese dipping sauce, which typically is a lot more salty, a lot more hearty around shoyu. Um, the tempura sauce is very light. It's a lighter it's sweet, sauce, yeah. right? So uh, thus the sugar and mirin. Um, those are the primary ingredients in the tempura sauce. And we also grated some daikon as well. And so we'll be putting that with the sauce. I heard that the daikon helps with digestion. That's why the Japanese add that into a dish like this when everything is really, really fried. It's fried in oil, yeah. which is how I like my food. Fried in oil, look at that. Okay, so before we do the tempura, uh, before we do the shrimp, we're just gonna put some cornstarch on our shrimp and this is supposed to help the shrimp absorb the tempura batter a little bit better okay so be careful of dropping it in here we go shrimp in the bath so the first time i made shrimp tempura for this family <laughs> i made it's a, a mistake. good memory so i that was my very first time making shrimp tempura ever and i undercooked the shrimp but because we had just started dating, nobody said anything, and so they were very nice about it. Some people spit it out. Some people got sick. Some people got sick. <laughs> um, but then never, never told me about it until years later. And so this is my second chance to make up for the first time where I got people sick. We just finished making the tempura. We have shrimp tempura, we have vegetable tempura, and we also are very, very grateful because we just got this box from Tipsy and we're gonna be trying their sake. And Tipsy is one of the largest sake online stores in the US and carries over 400 labels of sake. Wow. And yeah, wow. so they offer a sake club membership program uh, where you get a special box like this every three months. So in this box, there are six different types of sake that we're gonna try today. Thank you to Tipsy for sponsoring this video uh, because uh, Tipsy offers membership perks for those that get these boxes and we are definitely going to look into those membership perks. Um, those membership perks come with virtual tasting videos, uh, featured sakes, a beginner's guide booklet, which I read through and it taught me all a, lot, a lot about how mm -hmm. sake is prepared and how sake is served. Um, and then also a newsletter called the Tipsy Tribune, which gives you information on sake here in the US. If you get a Tipsy box, you get unlimited free shipping for your regular order and 6% cash back Tipsy reward points. Also access to, to exclusive membership Kanpai events. Yes, so are you guys ready to try some sake? Sure, yes, 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 yes. All, right. All right. And Kyle and Kathy both have lived in Japan for three years. So you have experience drinking sake? Not me so much. I think Kyle. <laughs> and Dad, you have, you have experience? I, I really yeah, haven't yeah. had... Yeah. Way to call you out on video. Yeah. <laughs> so Kyle drank a lot in Japan. Kyle drank a lot when he was in Japan. Some. And Dad was in the army, so I don't know, did you drink when you were... Yeah, with well, the Japanese army, they always like to drink. Okay, so in this box, 
comes out like this. Ooh, you get this. I think this is the That's a Tipsy Tribune. Tribune. That's a newsletter. newsletter. And it comes with Tipsy Sake Beginner's Guide. Yeah, that was awesome. If you don't know anything about sake, that beginner's guide actually helps you out a lot. And the cool thing about this box too is that each uh, sake comes with a card and tells a little bit about the sake that uh, we're going to be trying today. Yeah, so you can learn about which prefecture the sake comes from, the alcohol content, what type of rice was used to make the sake, how you should store it, whether it be warm, cold, uh, room temperature, and then how you should serve it. Okay, and wow. since I'm um, pregnant currently, I will not be trying sake, but I can be the pourer because I read, right, that in Japanese tradition, you don't pour your own, you don't yeah. pour your own. Yeah. Well, let's, um, as, as you're trying these, let's read a little bit about them. Okay, so which one do we want to try first? Because there are six, and we have these uh, glasses here. We have these nice um, sake glasses. <laughs> They're a little skibbe. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, promiscuous? No. I don't know. Really? They're they're in mom and dad's cabinet, so I don't know why you guys have these. I think they got it for their honeymoon. I don't know. I don't know. But it has uh, questionable pictures of Japanese <laughs> people. Yeah. We have three kids. Um, uh, so something happened. So there. Japanese couple. <laughs> they are yeah. hugging. Having fun. Having fun. And then Kyle, what is this? They're not smiling. What is this box oh, called? Oh, oh, this it's masu. Oh, <laughs> what is this one called? It's a masu. Masu. And I, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but M E S U. And then you put it. Masu. You put the. Masu. You put the sake. Um, what is this called? Sake glass. The grasu. You put the grasu. <laughs> The glass in the, the masu? So the taku or the glass in the masu? And I think in tradition, you, you said you fill it up, you fill it up above. According to um, you research I just did online, <laughs> you should overflow it. But for today, we'll just we'll just try it in these. Okay, the question we'll comes. These. Okay, we're trying the question <laughs> So we'll we we'll won't use ooh, because we won't use these unless there's so many different ones to try. Yeah. I mean, okay. You know. yeah. So, so we're not going to drink it out. No, let's try it. No. It's really well, very wooden. Yeah. It's it, nice. It's wood. Yeah. And it's uh, pine. Okay, so the first one we're trying here is the Cedar. Kudoki Jozu Junmai Ginjo. And so it's actually light and sweet. It has um, it has fruity textures to it and it's recommended serve cold. So we'll try that one first. So, so we did chill it in the fridge. So when you're serving, I understand that Japanese you hold you, you have two hands and you, you Oh, and you, you pour with your like that. Okay, that's for someone who is say a junior rank person. Would pour for a senior? For uh, say the, the worker, for the boss in the. Oh. And the then boss if the boss pour is, to the... if the boss is pouring the cup, just he can use the hand. He can it's use okay. one hand and pour it like that. Oh, so since it's Kyle's birthday, he's forty-seven. And he's older <laughs> than us. He is more senior to us, so we're pouring. So with two I, hands. I pour it with two hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you pour, you pour with two hands. Okay, okay, so okay, so many things yours. I want to say, but I know it's your video. I don't want to ruin okay, it. I have boobs on my glass. <laughs> boobs, boobs. Okay, you, all right, okay. happy birthday, Kyle. Hey, boobs. Happy birthday. <laughs> Here's the boobs. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, cheers. Okay. Kampai right. or whatever. Kampai, kampai, yes, it's a kampai. Mm, I can taste it. So can you guys taste green apple, sweet aromas of flowers? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of sweetness. I think there are some wisteria notes. Yeah. <laughs> and a, there's some, it's a morose attitude, subtle yet annoying. Yes. It's really good. The same and, and so I learned that the, the less the rice is polished, the sweeter it is. Oh, really? So, uh, so sake easier. like Junmai Ginjo is, is not as polished. And so therefore you get more flavor and it's a lot sweeter. It tastes, it does have a sweet taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, does anybody want any um, tempura while, sure. while you're oh, trying some? Okay, so here's some tempura. Here. Okay, while they're trying food, let's move on to the second one. Because mm -hmm. we don't have all night and I really want to try these. So this is the Nanbu uh, Bijin and it's a Tokubetsu Junmai. Okay, so this one's a lot more rich, it's a dry sake. Uh, it's the card says to serve it warm mm -hmm. um, or room temperature. You can also heat this up and serve it hot, Ooh. and I think it um, enhances the flavor. Okay, so I will be the server. Pass me your glosses. How's the tempura? 
Good, good. Yeah, how is the tempura? Very is good. good. Great. It's really good. Are we supposed to wash the glasses before we serve the second uh, one? We're just going to pretend that we did that. <laughs> hey, cheers. Hey, cheers. Hey, cheers. After every cut, everybody gets a little more faded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. Hey. Looser with the words, huh? Mm. How is that one? Definitely more dry. Yeah, definitely more dry. Dryness. Dry. Mm. The aridity of this. Arid. Dry. Oh, yeah? Wow. So it says to, kind of tickles to my take throat. a sip and to pause and enjoy its enticing aroma. <sighs> how does that, how is that kind And meditate for 30 seconds. <laughs> That's good. It's very good. And while they're finishing up their second sake, um, what you can do if you are interested in getting this tipsy sake box, I have a discount code. Uh, which is Kerry Tyra and it's going to be in the description box so you can check out there and also you can find all of this information on tipsysake.com and if you use Kerry's discount code you get 10% off yeah. all products wow okay so we're moving on to the next one this mm -hmm. is my favorite one because it's got a whale on it and uh, <laughs> it's called uh, Suge Tokubetsu Junmai okay so this one is supposed to be served either warm room temperature or cold Oh. So we did not um, put this one in the fridge, this one's warm. Uh, but this one's light and dry and um, it recommends you pair it with pairing, pairing it with meat or fish. Hmm. So probably not for tonight's dinner, but oh, um, not, not with, not with tempura, not with tempura right now, okay. with shrimp, shrimp, but with the shrimp maybe. So this one is a little bit more, um, got an umami flavor with a, a little bit of acidity and, um, the flavors are rich uh, on your tongue after you, you try it. Good. Mm, this one is very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I can again. see how it's better served warm. I think it brings out the, the umami is uh, more of a salty. That one was good. I'm more of a, that kind of flavor. This one? You like this one? Yeah. A whale. Sui gay. Would you buy this in the store? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's good to try. Which is why it's good you get it in a tipsy box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this next one carries opening. I was attracted to it because it's red. It's uh, got a nice <laughs> color yeah. to it, but it's called Jose, mm, which okay. means aged. And um, this is a reimagined drink of one of Japan's most drinkable sakes. Uh, this has scents of plums, cherries, raisins. It's bolder, got a little bit of a drier body. and. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be served cold, so we kept that we one in the fridge. Chill this one. But it's a the ginjo. Ginjo's. Sweet. <clears throat> oh yeah. Are we sipping or shooting? That's good. I, I'm doing a little bit of both. How do you do it? It's right. your birthday. You what's the way? What's one? the way to drink sake? I think it's totally up to you, but I, I feel like it's kind of like wine where you have to savor the flavor on your tongue. You have to swip this do the. No. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> No. You can't. <laughs> Japanese don't do it. They just they just they just shoot it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Okay, let's go on to this one. And you, we've seen this one actually in stores. Uh, we have? We've actually purchased it at Madokai before. Oh. It's a Dasai 45, um, and so this one uh, has a higher rice polishing ratio, so more um, it's more fruity. Whoa. Uh, more aromas on your nose. It's got a soft, clean finish. It's a dai ginjo, so it's uh, that's that means the rice is polished a little bit more than a ginjo, which was what we just had. And this one's supposed to be served cold. The more polished, the sweeter, or the, the less polished, the sweeter. I think the less. We'll figure it out. I'm that's the super polished one. I right? think this is more polished than the last one we had. Sweeter. 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 So okay, okay. Then the ratio is more polished, the sweeter. Okay, the last one is this nice. This is a pretty, pretty one. one. Yeah, so What's Kyle that? had this before. He bought this for us. It's called the Tozai Snow Maiden. And, um, it was pretty and it yeah. was different. And it's sweet, so people in here drink sweet more than. So you're supposed to shake it a little bit because it's got creamy textures, um, but it still has a little bit of a dryness. And it's got vibrant aromas, so a ricey, fru fruity flavor. Mm. And um, it's a nigori. What's a nigori? That's a excellent question. But it <laughs> recommends yeah. that the pairing is with What's shrimp or crab. Oh, so actually, perfect. this is a good oh, one for shrimp to put up. I'm gonna grab one more shrimp then. Shrimp. And this one should be served cold or ice cold. 
Mmm, this one is good. Kathy probably would like this one. Give me a little more. Okay. Oh. How is it with the shrimp? Does it pair nicely? Sweet and salty. Savory. Oh, savory. savory. Yeah. Nice. Mmm. So which one were, were all of your favorite, if you had to choose one? I'm gonna go with the, the whale. This one, you like the drunken I do, whale? I do like the drunken whale. I think I like the red one. This one? Yeah. Mm. <coughs> yours is this one? Mm. This is the first one, actually. Mm. Oh. Kind of the lightest one. They're not really a sake connoisseur. Yeah. But now you can do. <laughs> I don't think any of us are sake connoisseurs. <laughs> I like that one. This one. Like this yeah. one like, oh. And the whale. The whale. The whale seems popular. Mm -hmm. Might be because of our preferences of mm. yeah, dryness. All right. Well, thank you for being a part of our tasting. Right, and we enjoyed, yeah. I hope you guys we enjoyed, enjoyed all, these sakes. all the sake thank you for making the food. And we're going to now yeah. enjoy it with the rest of our family, not the sake part. Remember, 21 and over <laughs> to, to consume any alcohol. Um, but you know, for everybody, yes, for everybody right. else, we are ready. We're gonna have dinner now. We're gonna eat the tempura. We also made some soba on the side, and we're gonna enjoy that with the rest of our family. Kathy bought a sushi platter, so it's gonna go nicely with um, our meal tonight. Um, if you want any more information about Tipsy, please make sure you look in the description box, and all the information will be there. And all right, let's get Tipsy. All right, all right. <laughs> thanks for having us. Have some sake. So we are now sitting, we're gonna try the tempura that we made. Mm. I've got some carrot. Carrot's got a shrimp. Got a shrimp. Mm. It's great. Shrimp tempura, tempura. The batter is not too heavy. No. It's perfect. It's a little cold because we've been it's been sitting out, but mm. other than that, it's very delicious. Good job with the frying. Pretty easy. It just takes a little while because you're frying, but a great dish I think to make for a family. Yeah, yeah and it's healthy. I mean, we have mostly vegetables here with some shrimp, so it's good. Check the frying mark. Uh, get, get healthy oil. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna end the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want to try tipsy, make sure to check in our description box. Yeah, we're gonna get tipsy tonight. We just go drinking some of the tipsy sake. Excellent. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye. Bye.